Did you know that Shih Tzus are one of the most ancient breeds in the world? Or that it was a death sentence for commoners to own Shih Tzus back in ancient China? Interested in learning how one Shih Tzu saved her owner from a tsunami? Well, stick around. In today's video, we're counting down 10 interesting little-known facts about the Shih Tzu. And that all starts right now on The Smart Canine, the only show that explores the most interesting facts and stories behind dogs. But before we dive into the incredible Shih Tzu, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more dog facts like this. And if you want more Shih Tzu content, smash that like button. Number 10. Shih Tzus have one of the closest genetic relationships to the wolf. We already know that dogs descended from prehistoric wolves thousands of years ago. However, some of the wolf's closest relatives might actually surprise you. In an experiment where researchers analyzed the DNA of 85 most popular dog breeds, they found that a small group of dogs were most closely related to the wolf ancestors. In this group, there were the dogs that you'd expect, such as the Siberian Husky, Alaskan Malamute, Akita Inu, and the Samoyed. But what was shocking was that the little Shih Tzu also showed the closest genetic relationship with these prehistoric wolves. What's interesting is that other lap dogs, including the Peking Geese and Lhasa Apso, were also a part of this group. I guess that's why Shih Tzus are tougher than we thought. Number 9. Shih Tzus are over 1,000 years old. Believe it or not, Shih Tzus are one of the oldest dog breeds that still exist today. In fact, the Shih Tzu has a recorded history that dates back 1,000 years in Tibet. This means that these dogs are at least 1,000 years old. It's widely believed that Shih Tzus were kept as temple dogs, where they would become watchdogs that watched over the monasteries in Tibet. If an intruder came close, they would alert the much larger Tibetan Mastiff, who served as guard dogs for these remote monasteries. However, there's been a lot of debate over whether Shih Tzus actually served as watchdogs or if they were just companions to the Buddhist monks. But regardless of their role, they're extremely ancient dogs. Number 8. Shih Tzus are called the Little Lion Dogs. Lions are courageous, fierce, and massive. On the other hand, Shih Tzus are petite, outgoing, and adorable. So, why is it that these dogs are called Little Lion Dogs? Well, in Mandarin Chinese, Shih Tzu actually translates to Little Lion. Historians believe that they were given this name because of their close association to the Buddhist god of learning. According to Tibetan legend, this Buddhist god was often seen traveling with a little lion dog. When the god needed to travel long distances, the little lion would morph into a full-sized lion to carry him on his back. That little lion dog was none other than the Shih Tzu, at least according to the legends. Number 7. Some of the world's biggest stars owned a Shih Tzu. The brightest celebrities are often spotted by paparazzi with their canine companions. We've seen a wide variety of celebrity dogs ranging from the toy poodle to the German Shepherd. But did you know that top musicians such as Mariah Carey and Beyonce own Shih Tzus? Big dumb actor such as Colin Farrell also owns a Shih Tzu. What's funny is that Farrell once starred in a movie called Seven Psychopaths where his character plots to steal a Shih Tzu named Bonnie. And if you thought Queen Elizabeth was all about corgis, you'd be surprised to know that she also owns a Shih Tzu named Choo Choo. Even one of the world's richest people, Bill Gates, owns a Shih Tzu who he affectionately named Balma. And of course, Bill named him after his business partner, Steve Balma. Number 6. Shih Tzus were nearly extinct at one point. Today, Shih Tzus are one of the most popular dog breeds in America. They are so extremely popular in other parts of the world, especially in Asia as well. However, this wasn't always the case. During the Kang Dynasty, the Shih Tzus were actually the breed favored by the Dowager Empress Sixi. In fact, he famously initiated and supervised a massive breeding program for some of China's most iconic dog breeds, including the Shih Tzu. However, after his death, the breeding program was abandoned and it became nearly impossible to breed and sell these dogs. By the time China underwent its communist revolution, there were nearly no more Shih Tzus left. So how did they manage to survive? Well. That leads me to my next fact. Number 5. The modern Shih Tzu descended from just 14 dogs. That's right, if you own a Shih Tzu, they actually came from a pair of 14 original dogs. When the breed nearly went extinct, a small group of Shih Tzu enthusiasts took it upon themselves to rebuild the breed. They brought together 14 Shih Tzus, or rather 7 pairs of Shih Tzus, 7 males and 7 females, in an attempt to save the breed. Needless to say, the rebreeding effort was a huge success as Shih Tzus have become one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. So next time you see other Shih Tzus, just know there's a good chance that they're distant relatives of your Shih Tzu. Number 4. Military soldiers introduced the Shih Tzu to America. 
The Shih Tzu is a Chinese dog breed, yet they're one of the 20 most popular breeds in America. So, have you ever wondered how they made their way to America? Well, they were actually brought into the country by military personnel. Shih Tzus were originally imported from England to China. From there, they made their way all around Europe. After the World War II had ended, the American soldiers stationed in these European countries returned home with these dogs. They brought back perhaps the best souvenirs possible. But even though soldiers had brought these dogs back during the 1940s to 50s, they didn't become a popular choice for companion dogs until the 1960s. Number 3. Shih Tzus are called Chrysanthemum-faced dogs There's no denying that the Shih Tzu has a unique look. As a result, they've had plenty of wonderful and wacky nicknames, though none as popular as the Chrysanthemum-faced dogs. So why are they called this? Well, chrysanthemum is a flower that originates mostly from China, just like the Shih Tzu. However, the flower has a unique look that resembles the face of a Shih Tzu. Basic chrysanthemum flowers tend to have several layers of petals, which give the blooms a ruffled look. The Shih Tzu's face has hair that grows in virtually every direction, thus giving them a chrysanthemum face. Without constant trimming of facial hairs, the Shih Tzu's eyes will be covered in no time. Number 2. One heroic Shih Tzu saved her owner from a tsunami On March 11, 2011, one of the most devastating earthquakes in recent memory struck Japan's east coast. The 9.1 magnitude earthquake lasted about 6 minutes and happened just 50 miles away from Japan's peninsula. But what was even more catastrophic was the tsunami that followed shortly after. Waves that reach 133 feet tall and traveled over 400 miles per hour powered through the Japanese coast, which eventually led to the infamous Fukushima nuclear disaster. But in the most dire and devastating situations, heroes are born, one of which was a petite 10 pound Shih Tzu named Babu. Shortly after the earthquake had ceased, Babu was still on alert, nervously pacing around the living room. Eventually, the owner figured Babu really wanted to go for a walk, so she gave in. As soon as the owner opened the door, Babu started sprinting away from her usual walking path. Instead, Babu started to make her way towards a nearby hill. The Shih Tzu would also look back frequently, as if to signal to her owner to walk faster. But as soon as they made it to the top of the hill, the owner turned around and was stunned. The path that they were just walking on was completely covered in water, and their home? It had already been swallowed up. Had it not been for this heroic Shih Tzu, the fate of these two could have been completely different. And if you're interested in learning about how dogs can sense these natural disasters, check out our videos on dogs and earthquakes. Number 1. Owning a Shih Tzu in ancient China is highly illegal In ancient China, many Chinese lap dogs are often associated with the emperors and elitists, including the Shih Tzu. But do you know that it was actually illegal for commoners to own a Shih Tzu? In fact, historians believe that illegally owning one of these royal dogs could earn you a death sentence. The height of the Shih Tzu reputation took place during the Ming and Manchu dynasties. These dogs were bred and raised exclusively by those living in the emperor's palace. In fact, the entire breed was considered to be the exclusive property of the Chinese royal court. That said, any commoner caught with a Shih Tzu outside the royal court was charged for stealing from the emperor. For such a crime in an ancient monarchy, the death penalty made a lot of sense back then. The good news is that anyone is free to own one of these lovely dogs today, and they're as easy to find as any other dog breed. So, what were your favorite facts about the Shih Tzu? Did we miss a fact that deserves to be on this list? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to The Smart Canine for the most interesting stories and facts behind dogs.